funeral reminds me of Game of Thrones. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. Dad doesn't like elves very much. Are you an elf? Hey fam, what's up? the corpse collector. I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh, yeah, I remember. No ice, no art. Uh, one of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. You search Fabian's body? Well, I... Uh, Cost an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Tom, what did you find on him? I, uh, as you wish. <laughs> Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing. Handful of coins and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment. That <laughs> I wipe off the right inner till it is new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Fucking hell, what was that for? For everything. It's not that safe to go out in the streets anymore. God, what hey. happened here? Lights were just running down. The swarm is oh. sitting now. Maybe a problem, so that sort of talk, you know? Must have broken many a heart, eh, Dandy? Well, I mean... Well, well. So, how you go with this evening? I was fucking about minding my own business when suddenly up he pops and heals me. Odd though he is. Girls can't seem to look away. <laughs> oh, mine's like war. On you. Molly, Striga, Kim. Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. <clears throat> Sit, you stupid much. Lay down. Come on. Come on in. Slowly now, let's debate. Charming as beasts go. You daft. Even I'm scared of them. A 
better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I run to a meat or raise his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. I sleep sound at least. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf. Craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to falling one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, got you bitch. Human dislag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her? Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pont said a fever took her. Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered around the blaze. And found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the car by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleeding orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. They kill them some dwarf. Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Murderer dragged something heavy. Statues. Or a corpse. Bloodstains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Witcher! 
coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Tell me to say the main door will be open for you. You ought to come as soon as you can. Awful pile. Oh, you scared. Hey, handsome. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Human. Priscilla's. Grab him! Take him from the back! Together now! Kill the whole set! On. You'll get me too, huh? Up your ass, deviant! Holes can fight back! Uh. Calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome. For Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. I fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. 
you and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see? Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Oh, yet. No problem. Dude. A brazier. This time of year? Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. Watch it, Trev. No regrets, not your stomping ground. Ah! Get up! Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning, at his home, on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Von Grad's told me all about you. Ah, doubtless you've heard how I had the noble leader of the student protesters thrown in prison. But did you hear the protests were far from peaceful? Or did he neglect to mention it? People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. How old's Von Gratz? 
Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. Till next time, Master. Your wounds. Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off this street can. Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw Mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is. Just in case. I find this all very hard to believe. But you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane. Except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned the mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square. Not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books and signals of reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Oh! Hear that? Calm, quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests.
артиллерия. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. It wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him. And I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, the only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid. I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body. A note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Older. Not just the name, but the place, too. Won't get away this time. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's, fast. Oh. <laughs> Ever heard the legends of the White Wolf? <laughs> this life, sometimes it's a handful. Ooh, damn it! Uh -huh. Got pissed off the racehorse. Uh, these days, <laughs> She's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. 
see it in your face. You'll look fucking amazing. Later. You mean me to grab another man to well. join us? No, I was thinking you'd be us two and you. Ah! <clears throat> hey, watch it. Hmm. What's the hurry, my friend? formaldehyde I underestimated you you almost caught me in flagrante delicto now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel although you've not divined all I see had you you would have drawn your silver sword who what are you a vampire higher of course Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat. Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. Tortured logic. Yet logic, nonetheless. I'm glad you perceived that, at least. Fight fire with fire, as they say. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good. My not comfort.
in town. Where's Eustace? It was him always all with the corpses. Aye, we did. Plenty more to all now. <coughs> Life, you gotta take risks and And remember, oh. never venture into the bits alone. Always take a part. Greetings, Master. Oh! Had you fill a fool's parsley, have you? How's better? Right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witch's way. Thank you, Gil. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Brockalon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Yes, Geralt? Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? Red hair, cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission, you can't argue with them.
Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. I've been at Vilmeria's hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept scalpel in hand than I ever was behind a lectern. Hubert told me about your past, even more vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. Found and killed the murderer. It was Hubert. You were right not to trust him. He was a higher vampire. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Farewell. Not swords. Show me what you have in stock. Wait. 
So long. So long.
sister. it to you how much would it cost me to hire this ship the harmony of nations ain't for hire ships owners got plans for it there anyone in Novigrad who'll take me to Skellige it's... you mean anyone here off their cord aye Wolverston goes by the name of flask ask at the golden sturgeon man's a sheep bugger like the Skelligers sure they get along great
supper I never refused. Arms for the poor? What do you do? <laughs> Since yesterday, it's not. One drink of my head. You, Wolverston, captain of the Atropos? So you want to know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverston? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me, we're due to sail for our Skellig, carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Here. That enough? Hefty sack. Like a bull's. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston near lock. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Let's go. Ah, first, we must drink to the wind. Good fortune and to the strength of my Atropos. Anchors <sighs> away. Pathetic.
Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not a fear to die. See, I've landed on Ord Skellig. How you figure that? You're wearing clan on crate colors. Ord Skellig's their island. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ord Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? Fact is, even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? I expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. Siren Den. Gotta ruin it for them.
Come on, Roach. That's it, Roach. Now, now. Can't I play today, Da? We've got to go to the port. Bid farewell to King Bran. It's not fair to play at. Who will be King of Skellig and I? None know that. But the gods will make sure to be one worthy. Well, one before whom there could be no shame to bow our heads. Shalmor and Kraith's gone to Invicken. Three more than I can see. You've read Our time amongst the living. Gonna lie, I've seen this funeral like hundred times. Like fourth playthrough, mid pep. Child. I know, but I want to. Is madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed longer. Silence. It is her decision. Reminds me of Game of Thrones. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran! 
of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates? of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Hope we don't have to go to this wake. Well... We don't have to go. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Stop reading my mind. Something to hide? Don't like secrets? No. Did you learn anything in Velen? Velen. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Ciri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen, Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Ciri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Siri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! 
Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. <laughs> 